to offer a thorough context and background for those unfamiliar with the current scientific explanation of the universe's origin, specifically the Big Bang Theory, which describes the emergence of space, time, and all matter. Let us examine this official naturalistic explanation presented by an unbiased AI chatbot. The Big Bang Theory is the prevailing scientific explanation for the origin of the universe. According to this theory, the universe began as a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature, approximately 13.8 billion years ago. At that moment, the universe rapidly expanded, undergoing a process known as cosmic inflation. This allegedly led to the formation of space, time, and all matter and energy in the universe today. Question. In a courtroom hearing scenario that aims to scrutinize the credibility and plausibility of the Big Bang Theory, I seek an unbiased evaluation of each claim presented above, assessing each claim to determine its nature, whether it involves speculation, conjecture, inference, or if its assertions are founded on undeniable evidence to support them beyond being merely theoretical. To evaluate these official scientific accounts previously outlined, please answer the following questions. 1. How did science determine that the singularity was infinitely dense and of infinite temperature? Answer. The determination of the singularity's infinite density and temperature is based on theoretical models and mathematical calculations within the framework of general relativity. According to these theoretical models, as we trace the expansion of the universe backward in time, it reaches a point of extreme density and temperature, which is termed the singularity. However, it is important to note that the concept of infinite density and temperature arises from the limitations of our current understanding of physics. The singularity represents a breakdown in our ability to describe the universe accurately using our current scientific theories. 2. What is the basis for measuring the accuracy of this infinite density? Answer. Since the singularity represents a point where our current understanding of physics breaks down, it is not possible to measure its density directly. At such extreme conditions, the known laws of physics cease to be applicable, and our ability to make precise measurements becomes limited. The concept of infinite density arises from the mathematical extrapolation of our current physical theories to these extreme conditions. 3. How did science arrive at the figure of a 13.8 billion year origin for this singularity? Answer. The estimate of a 13.8 billion year origin for the singularity is derived from observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the early universe. By studying the properties of this radiation, such as its distribution and temperature, scientists can infer conditions of the early universe. The age of the universe is estimated by extrapolating the observed expansion of the universe backward in time. 4. How is the term cosmic inflation derived and substantiated? Answer. The term cosmic inflation was proposed as a mechanism to explain certain observed features of the universe, such as its overall uniformity on large scales. Inflation suggests that the universe underwent a rapid expansion phase in its early moments, which smoothed out irregularities and set the stage for the subsequent formation of large-scale structures like galaxies and clusters. While inflation is supported by indirect evidence, such as observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation and the distribution of galaxies, it is considered a theoretical framework that explains various observed phenomena. 5. Can you provide details on how this expansive force led to the formation of space, time, matter, and energy in the universe, serving as the starting point for this theory? Answer. The specific details of how the expansive force of cosmic inflation led to the formation of space, time, matter, and energy are still the subject of active scientific investigation and theoretical modeling. According to the prevailing theory, inflation caused a rapid expansion of space, stretching it to a larger scale. During this expansion, quantum fluctuations in the fabric of space 
were magnified to macroscopic scales, which eventually led to the formation of density variations. These density variations served as seeds for the gravitational attraction that eventually led to the formation of large-scale structures such as galaxies and galaxy clusters. As the universe expanded and cooled further, matter and energy condensed and underwent processes such as nuclear fusion within stars, leading to the formation of atoms and the subsequent emergence of galaxies, stars, and other cosmic structures. It's important to note that our understanding of the detailed processes involved in the formation of space, time, matter, and energy is continuously evolving. Ongoing research, observations, and theoretical advancements contribute to refining our knowledge and providing a more comprehensive understanding of the early universe. So it can be summarized that the Big Bang theory relies heavily on indirect observation, interpretation, inference, and theoretical models. This reliance introduces numerous uncertainties at every turn, from the theory's inception to its current status as the most widely accepted scientific explanation for the origins of space, time, and matter. If you have not yet considered it, it is important to recognize the significant challenges faced by the Big Bang theory from its inception. This theory seeks to trace the mysteries of the universe back 13.8 billion years to determine its origins a monumental task given the involvement of boundless pressure, temperature, energy, matter, and inconceivable forces. To accurately place our trust in this theory, we would need a formidable and reliable method that allows us to observe the entire universe in reverse, effectively unfolding it step by step to reconstruct this colossal singularity and its unimaginable explosive force. The most troubling aspect is the origin of this singularity, which lacks any explanation. It simply exists without any identifiable cause, making it a remarkably tenuous starting point for a theory deemed as scientific. The mystery surrounding the origin of this singularity remains entirely enshrouded in speculation and supposition. While academia often turns to quantum mechanics to address much of this mystery, further exploration eventually leads to even more speculative theories and philosophical contemplation once the most sophisticated scientific terms and theories are exhausted. The most tangible aspect of this theory, which scientists use in an attempt to construct theoretical models and perform backward extrapolations for the Big Bang theory, is the cosmic microwave background radiation previously mentioned. This raises crucial questions. Why is this background radiation necessarily considered a remnant of the Big Bang? Could it not also be attributed to countless other natural phenomena, potentially leading to entirely different conclusions unrelated to the Big Bang? It is noteworthy that a majority of the equipment allegedly used today to measure cosmic microwave background radiation was developed by NASA, placing them once again at the center of the cosmological narrative. While this alone may not lead you to question your current level of trust in NASA, it is crucial to remember the implications of their monopolistic role, a central role we will be reminded of repeatedly moving forward.